Babuhai Kamustika, welcome. How are you? This is Dr. Philippines from Love Beyond the Sea, from Love Beyond the Sea Studios. What are the 10 best things about being in a relationship? I get the impression many people today aren't in a relationship and that some seem to not care while other people do care and some others aren't really optimistic about finding somebody <coughs> that they could marry someday. Is having a relationship still a good goal to pursue? I think it is and there are many worthwhile and healthy aspects about being in a relationship, that is if it's a good one. Subscribe to Love Beyond the Sea and I will tell you what I think is absolutely necessary to have a good marriage to a woman from another country and in my case it is a woman from the Philippines. And nearly five years ago, that's where I found love, Beyond the Sea. Get notifications for upcoming videos. Please check out the Community Corner message forms. That'll be in the WordPress um, blog site that I will put in the description box. That cough is almost gone. <coughs> Let's see if I can struggle through this here today. Um, Ten best things about being in a relationship. I'd never really thought about putting anything down on paper. I just figured it was a good thing, but it was a good exercise to try to get my thoughts out about why, and I'd certainly like to hear from you. Um, leave a comment here in, in YouTube or on the, the blog site. The things that you um, like best about being in a relationship, and I've got 10, um, in no particular order. I will start with uh, something I, I had to use two words for, closeness belonging closeness and belonging because you know you I take it for granted I've been married for almost five years to my amazing Isa a woman from the Philippines and um, you know we, we got married so quickly and spent so much of our lives without knowing the other person existed it's it's amazing to me that I feel such a sense of, of closeness to her and um, I almost said uh, security, but that could be another term that would fit here that is really a good thing about having a relationship. Um, I feel close to her. Um, I think about her all day long. I, I pray for her. <clears throat> I've got her photos all over the place. I feel a sense of belonging to my wife. Um, I don't want to just do my own thing because um, the things that I do are going to affect her. And so I always want to make sure that, you know, we're on the same page, that our communication is good. And um, I don't have to worry about, you know, who I'm going to spend time with. Is anybody going to like me? Am I going to feel close to anyone? Am I going to be part of a pair? Are we ever going to be a unit? Because being married now for just under five years, um, absolutely, I feel like we're going to be together um, until the end. Another aspect of relationship, I think, is uh, would make the top 10 would be reliability, consistency. I had to lump these together too. Reliability, consistency, and what I mean by that is <clears throat> um, I know we're going to be together. I don't have to worry about it. I can, if I have to go a, a few days without seeing her, you know, because of work schedule or when she had to make a an emergency trip back to the Philippines. Yeah, temporarily I was without her, but I knew that we were going to be back together because we belong together. We're very close and um, our relationship is reliable. Uh, we have different shifts. We're um, still working through that. But, you know, we're together and I, I just cannot imagine not having this woman in my life. So it's... Um, it's not hit and miss it's very consistent and what I have to do is make sure I don't take her for granted with that consistency and always try to do the best I can for her so closeness belonging reliability consistency the third thing here that I mentioned was companionship obviously um, now we're uh, I'm not retired so it's not like we're together 24 7 but since we belong to each other, we, we do have companionship. And if we want to watch something on TV, that's that's something I'd rather do with her than anyone else. We're just um, laying around in bed, playing on our phones, you know, the internet, whatever, watching a, a movie in bed, just being together, 
going for a drive, taking a trip somewhere. Um, you know, her companionship is the one that I want the most. I can that frees me up time to like work on um, you know Dr. Philippines videos here for Love Beyond the Sea, um, something different because I know that we will be together, and um, it's actually um, takes a lot of the edge off of life when you're you're starving and I know how hard it can be to actually find companionship and to wonder what it's even like well it's a great thing so here on Love Beyond the Sea I will always tout having a relationship it's just that you know you have to go about it the right way and you have to look for the right person and um, you know put on your thinking cap when you go out there to look for somebody and it can be a a very rewarding experience. In my case, I found this companionship by looking in a, another country. And I know many of you, um, since I've talked to you before and our subscribers, you've done the same thing or are looking to do that. And I certainly hope that many more try to find their companionship beyond the sea as well. Another thing that um, top 10 thing about having a relationship is you don't have to search anymore. I've heard people say, um, <clears throat> about themselves. Boy, am I glad I'm not single anymore. You know, I would not want to be single again because of having to go out and find somebody. I mean, it's different now. There's online, which I think has, um, I just did a, a video, a live stream recently about this. I think there's pros and cons to social media and your relationship. Uh, for a very long distance relationship, I think it can help, uh, but can also maybe blunt your social skills a little bit, um, and, and you can end up being uh, searching for people, communicating with them in a very, um, I would say, I don't know, insubstantial way, a very superficial, on the surface way, and not going deeper that you really need to be with that person one on one to do. And it also might feel good to have somebody to talk to online when you haven't for a long time and you don't want to say anything that would um, end that relationship. But, you know, you got to ask the tough questions if you um, want to find somebody to marry. And um, I have lots of uh, questions on several videos. If you would search for those about questions to ask a Filipina at different stages in a relationship. So to not have to search, uh, that's a wonderful thing. Another aspect... Uh, I would put in my top 10 having a relationship, being able to receive help, any kind of help. The, the Bible says that a wife is the uh, helper of her husband. So I certainly need my wife's help and I love having her help. She does all kinds of things around um, the house here, not just, you know, her companionship and feeling close to her, um, you know, her reliability. She, you know, does a great job of cleaning and cooking and and um, and listening to me when I need to get things off my chest and talk you know I can talk to my my wife so um, you know I receive a lot of help from her also she is somebody that I can help another benefit is I have somebody to help every day and um, I love this woman very much and anything I can do to help her simply helps me Another top 10 list for, or thing on the top 10 list for me would be future plans. Um, I have this person here. We have a relationship for almost five years. We're building it. We're getting, you know, closer. We're helping each other. And now we can take all of this into the future where we're thinking about retiring in the Philippines. We have a house there. And um, back in uh, January 2020, did some videos from over there if you are interested and um <clears throat> well that's kind of our future i mean wow it, it wasn't what i thought it was going to be when i was single i was kind of dreading it now i'm very hopeful optimistic about the future doing something different uh, with this um, amazing woman uh, three more in my top 10 would be touch just um, physical touch i i didn't have anything any of that for many many years as you can see in some of my earlier videos on love beyond the sea that's just one aspect that's very important to me it's a form of communication me to her her to me uh, that is non-verbal 
and uh, I am a very verbal person, but I really like uh, the touch, and it's a big part of my relationship with my wife. Um, my ninth thing I listed here would be communication, and um, <clears throat> that's uh, being able to communicate to her about anything, you know, right then and there, and I can receive communication from her we relate to each other. We try to understand each other. We do things better now than we did after I proposed to her in 18 days and flew down there and married her in less than eight weeks. So, yeah, our, often communication is something couples need to work on, and, and ours has been getting better as we learn to understand each other better. So communication is great, whether it's just texting her, telling her I love her, telling her I, you know, I'm thankful for the the food that she surprised me with she makes my food and puts it together every day and I, every every day at break and lunch I, I text her and I tell her how much I appreciate that and and um, how much I'm thinking about her during the day so I love the communication and uh, the tenth thing on my list were the ten best things about being in a relationship well I don't know I probably left out a handful of some things but um, I will put uh, sexual intimacy here you might have been wondering if um, Dr. Philippines was going to get around to mentioning the sexual aspect of a relationship. And I think in a marriage, the sexual part is is just a, a very wonderful thing. Um, most people desire sexual intimacy. And uh, I believe the place that God himself created that was to be marriage. That's with all the fireworks, all the... You know disagreements and the stuff that you have to go through <laughs> being people the benefits are, are still too good to pass up and I think it helps you to grow as a person um, and the sex uh, is a is a good barometer of the relationship if the sex has been really really cool uh, there are problems there that would be an indicator that there are, is some trouble in the relationship but when it's good and you're able to think about the other person you're able to relate this way it's extremely relaxing physically I think it's extremely relaxing mentally and emotionally you know I was I was single a long time and um, you, you go long enough without sex you know people say nobody ever died from lack of sex I think I, I came real close though um, I was on the operating table and uh, it actually uh, stopped breathing for 10 minutes um, since I hadn't had sex for a long time. Now, I'm just kidding. Don't, don't take this and run with it. Um, but it was hard is what I'm trying to say. But, you know, to not have to worry about that, you know, it'll save years on your life expectancy probably and frees you up to focus on anything else except the one thing you're probably thinking of more than anything else if you're single and that's sex so being able to have it um, when you need it and and give and receive is just an absolutely wonderful thing so um, those are just some th uh, quick thoughts on what are the 10 best things about being in a relationship that uh, I talked about now please again community corner we're trying to get that message forum going and um, you can look in there and, and search for uh, topics. If there isn't one, you can start one or respond to the ones that are there. And I'll probably put this in there in the relationship forum. There's also a lifestyle forum. So um, uh, my uh, good friend, Mr. E, designed that whole WordPress blog site related to Love Beyond the Sea. So I encourage you to check that out or leave a comment here in YouTube because uh, I'll continue to talk about relationship issues, love issues, and anything that you might need to know if you are serious about finding love beyond the sea.